Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks so much for stopping by. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Once you subscribe, hit that notification bell, join the Clockwork crew so you'll be notified every single time I upload, which is every single Monday like Clockwork. In today's video, I'm actually going to show you how I got this glam green look because I never use greens and it's, it's about that time. Using this Nomad Cosmetics palette, Lago de Como, that I did get in PR and I just couldn't wait to use it. <laughs> if you saw my unboxing, you know I was really, really happy about these products and this was sent to me because I was chosen as their June Starfish. So that was pretty cool. And y'all, this look, y'all gonna see, y'all gonna see. <laughs> you wanna see how I got this look using this palette? Keep on watching. Okay, so, you guys already know the drill. I don't know why I have to keep telling you this. Eyelids primed with my Tarte Shape Tape and Tint Sin. Brows already done. If you haven't already, I don't know why. Make sure you go ahead and check out my brow tutorial. Run them views up and take some notes because some of y'all brows be looking a little... We're not going to do that today. So I'm actually going to go ahead and do a green look. I never really use green in general and I definitely don't have any green looks on the channel. So it is about... And there's no better way to showcase the Nomad Cosmetics Lago de Como palette that I actually got in PR because I was chosen to be their June Starfish because Leanne, one of my subscribers and followers, definitely went ahead and nominated me and I am so grateful that I was chosen and so grateful to you. And if you haven't seen it already, make sure you go ahead, check out my tiny PR unboxing where I open a few products that I've received in PR including this palette and let's stop talking. Mm. So if you guys don't remember, this palette is beautiful, has a nice mirror, and it does have these blues, these greens, and these golds. I just think it's really, really cute. If you can see, they're embossed with little sailboats, and that's hella cute, and we're not going to waste no time. Alright, so to start going into my 225 by Zoeva, this is my eye blending brush, and I think I'm going to go into that Palazzo shade. This is this pale, it's like a mustard shade here. This one is similar. This is like really, really pale. But I'm just going to go into this one as my transition shade. So far, this is my first time using this palette. But there is a lot of kick up in the pan. If that bothers you, just know that there may be some fallout on the eye. So maybe do your base last if that's... I always do because I'm not in the mood to do anything over. Don't mind my hair. Don't mind the scar on my face because my skin is not... We're not friends right now and it's going to be here for a while. So get over it. If you see it, don't say nothing. Thank you in advance. All right, so let's go. Yeah, it's very powdery. Oh, it's it's light. It's real light. Like pale, almost on the ashy side. But we're going to make it work. I promise you we are. What? Oh, I... Right. Okay, so this is pretty much it. I don't think I'm going to build this up anymore. I don't think it can be built up anymore. And it's very, very light. Definitely really wouldn't work too well with anyone who is a deeper skin tone than mine. Because it's not on the warm side. This is more of like a cool tone yellow. And as you can see, it's a little messy. But nothing too crazy. There was a lot of fallout or kick up in the pan. Um, just keep that in mind if that's something that bothers you. I It doesn't really matter as long as the shadows are performing well. And this, it did blend out nicely, so I'm not even going to complain. Okay, next with my 231, this is my Petite Crease Brush. I'm actually going to go in La Dolce Vida. That's this green, this matte green right in the middle. And I'm going to try it. I do have another green that I'm going to use. That green is pigmented from my Galactic Astronomy palette. If you haven't seen that first impression, make sure you go and check it out. That look came out really, really nice. And when I say that green is pigmented, to this day, it stained my brush. That's not cool. But I'm not really mad. So I'm just going to go in. Not as much kick up with this color, actually. It's a little less, so. But hopefully that pigment is there. And I'm going to pop this in my crease. Hmm, so far I don't know. I might have to build this up a little bit. Looking a little batchy. No, don't do that 
to me. Alright, so this is going to take some blending. I can already smell that now. So I'm just going to go ahead and really work this in and blend it out and let you guys know. But you can see like right there where I place the shadow without like knocking off any excess. It does stick, but mm, I really want this to work. So I'm going to go ahead and just continue to build this up and show you guys what it looks like so here's where we are it actually blended out really nice i did go back in with my 225 just to go ahead and blend it out some more just so that it is blended okay and my wrist hurt yes so don't ask you guys know the rules it's not as green as i thought it would be like it's a nice green but i think i'm just gonna go in a little on the inner closer to the inner corner i'm gonna go into my star artistry palette again if you haven't seen the look i created with this palette go ahead and check it out i'll leave a card here and i'll try to remember to put it down in the description box so these are the colors so here's what it looks like as you can see the green in this palette is way brighter than the green in this palette so i'm just gonna go ahead and use it just to really build up that pigment a little just a little bit now I'm just going to go in with my 2-3 round. It's my petite crease. Not going to excess on it. I'm just going to literally just pop that in the crease. Just want to build up that green. I don't really like green like that. But I feel like if I'm going to do a green look, I'm going to do a green look. I need it to be green. So. Nothing too crazy. But you can see the difference already. Just in the pigment. It's just more pigmented. Where that one, I feel like it blended out very sheer. You get what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm saying. And don't act like y'all don't. Thank you. And I really just want this in the crease. Okay. So that's pretty good. That's exactly what I wanted. I'm just going to use my eye blender brush a little bit just to blend it out just a tad like i really don't want it to blend out too much yep so that's good now going back in my nomad cosmetics lago de como palette i'm going to actually go into this mazafiato shade which is a navy blue and i love a navy blue the other navy blue i have is in a palette that i'm not showing on the channel anymore so <laughs> thank you because i needed a replacement for this, I'm going to go into my Morphe E36 because I am going to hit this in the outer corner and go into the crease a little bit, not all the way. And hopefully it doesn't embarrass me. Oh gosh, this looks pigmented. Oh gosh. Okay. Woo okay, let's try it. Yeah, this is, this is what I need. Just to deepen it up a little bit and I'm just going to bring it... Just about half of the lid, like so, like that, like so, and on the outer corner. So they blend nicely together. I'm, I'm liking how that's looking, I'm not going to lie. I've, again, never tried this palette before, never tried this look before. You guys know I don't really wear green, but hopefully it'll look good. And if it doesn't look good, lie to me in the comments. Lie. Actually, don't lie. Drag me if it doesn't look good. Like I can take it. Don't, don't, don't do that to me. Don't have me up here thinking I'm cute when I'm not, because I would never do that to y'all. If you know me in real life, I'm the first one. Like, girl, no. Sorry. Real quick, real quick. When I used to work in the fitting room in retail, and <laughs> this is bad, but I really don't care. They used to go in the fitting room with all these clothes, and some girl came out with it. She said, "How does this look?" I was like, "No. Try again." <laughs> like, and just like that. And she was like, oh, oh, okay, okay. But that's basically me in real life, always. Always. Okay, yeah, I think that's, yeah, that's good. Guys, I'm really trying not to cut the crease. Like, <laughs> I think I always do a cut crease, but just because it looks cleaner. But sometimes I don't want that. Sometimes that's not what I want. But sometimes these shadows embarrass me. Break. Mm -mm. Ooh. 
And I think I like that. And I think it's gonna look good with what I wanna do. And then I'm, I'm actually, I'm really liking it so far. Like, how you guys feel? How you feel? How you feel? 25 sitting on nothing because I'm 26 and I don't have shit. <laughs> Sorry. All right, let's go. <laughs> Throw me in the garbage. All right. I really like how this is starting to look like no funny. This palette is, is cute and I was really hyped when I got it. And I also have a highlight from them I'm going to use today. Like, honestly, a couple of things I'm going to use. I got a PR. I got this shadow. Um, I got this palette in PR. I got the Galactic Astronomy palette in PR. The highlight I'm gonna use is in PR. Like y'all, this is almost like if I had like base products, it'd be like damn, bitch, full face of PR. But I don't have that yet. So wait for that video. Wait for me to like actually get somewhere in life, and then I could be like, look at all my free shit. But not today. I really like it. I really. Like it, like this is so pretty. I like it so much. Okay. Literally, one eye always looks better than the other, and that's just because my face is not symmetrical, and that's just it. Like, sorry if you thought it was, it's not. That's pretty good. Like this side needs to be cleaned up a little bit. It's very messy, but I always go ahead and clean it back up. Anyways, so I'm just gonna go back in right into this La Dolce Vita shade. That's the green here. Going back in with my petite crease brush, my 231. And I'm just going to hit the inner corner and blend that out a little. Just a little because I'm going to go back into that Galactic Astronomy palette. Because that green is, is so beautiful. I love it. It's so popping. It's so pigmented. It stained my pretty ass brush. But like, y'all, you got to do it. That's this palette here. If it was a right side up, <laughs> joke's on me. That green shade is actually called Cosmo, and I really like it. I really, this palette is cute. I just really wish that this blue was matte, but there's a matte blue in this palette. <gasps> Who's winning? Me. All right, so I'm just gonna go in, and again, just right in the inner corner, and just a little, just to blend it together a little, because I am gonna go in back with my 225. Okay, so that's done i actually really like how it looks and i'm probably more than likely gonna put a pop of color somewhere because that's who i am as a person i think we need to just acknowledge that from now um i'm gonna take this is flat brush that i use for shimmers and glitters and i think i'm going to go into into this disco volante shade that's this here it's like gold shimmer Goldish champagne-ish. It's not really like gold gold. And we're gonna put this on the lid and I don't want to cut the crease. So let's hope that it just looks so beautiful that I don't have to. It's like pretty powdery and it's kind of messy. Okay, so I usually don't like to Knock off any excess with the shimmer. Oh, please don't let me, I don't want to cut the crease. I swear I don't. Let's try this again. <laughs> okay, cut the crease, nothing too crazy. Yeah, that's pretty much all I did. I didn't really do nothing. Had a, a chillin', had some coffee, you know, regular shit. Now let's try this shimmer again. This is Disco Valance. One more time, one more again, let's do it. This is like such a powdery shimmer. Hmm. Am I happy with this right now? I don't know. I really didn't want it to be so clean, but it's a, can you guys see? It has like kick up like on my eye. Why is it doing that? Again, this brush is clean just to show you guys that the difference because I've never had to like really knock off excess on a shimmer. I usually just place it down. But it doesn't look bad. I do like it. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Like, I like it. I do. I just. I don't understand the kick up. And it really, really. I really didn't want to do a cut crease. This is like the second time I played myself and said I wasn't gonna do one and I did one because I'm a clown. 
it, that's fine. I'm literally just gonna knock off any excess here. I'm gonna go on back in with my 2-3 run. This is my petite crease brush. I'm not adding anything to it, but I am just gonna blend the top out like that. Hopefully it doesn't look as, you know, perfect. Mm-hmm, 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 I like. I'm gonna go back in also with my Morphe E36 into this Maza Fiato shade here. What the hell was I saying? Just a little, knock off the excess. I don't really need a lot and just go back in just to clean that up in the outer corner and blend that together. I actually like it. I still, I'm still feeling this look. How you guys feel? I'm not camera, I'm gonna go ahead Add some eyeliner, do my base, come back, and we're gonna go ahead. I think I need a pop of color. I do. I need a pop of color. We're gonna come back, we're gonna add a pop of color. That's what we're gonna do. Alright, so my base is done. I did lay down some banana powder just to catch any fall off when I go in and do my lower lash line. On my waterline, I do have my LA Girl Shockwave eyeliner, and this is an I Gotcha. And I did actually go ahead and wing out my liner with this Trifle Cosmetics Lava Liner. I actually really like this. I did get this in PR, so go ahead, once again, check that video out. It is a felt tip, but this was really nice. There was no skipping. It went on really smooth. Like, I actually really, really like this, so y'all go ahead, check them out. Um, of course, I'll leave their website down below. And I do believe, like, they have, like, 20% off. Or something. There's a discount code somewhere on their website. I know that for a fact. Check it out. So, I'm... I need something. I feel like this is cute, but we need some more. So, before I actually go ahead and smoke out the lower lash line, I did want to go in with my Stila Glitters. This is in Kit and Karma. One of my favorites. Um, this is a mini because I've had them and I'm too cheap to buy the big ones. To be honest, like... I really want to buy a lot of makeup. I'm, I want to do a haul, but it's like, <laughs> Lord, these are not the times. These are not the times. So I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand. Ooh, ooh. And I'm going to go with my fine liner brush. This is a 315. Just a tiny tip. You can use any liner brush that you have, but I'm actually going to put this in the crease because I feel like I need to and I want to. What? So just right in the crease literally just where I cut the crease and that gold is that's all nothing too crazy all right I lied and it's gonna meet like my liner like so so nothing too bad do I want to wing it out a little bit no I'm actually just gonna leave it right where the cut crease is so real simple real easy I don't even have to cut this part yeah sure can't do it if y'all talking. Right. Okay, I like that. It makes me feel better. I like it. <laughs> okay, now for the lower lash line. I'm actually just gonna take my smudger brush that was already <laughs> stained from my Galactic Astronomy palette. I'm telling you that green is not a game. I'm actually gonna go in this Aquarama shade right here because we already had the money green on the lid. So you might as well go in with that electricity blue. Okay, reaching out. Just kidding. Those are not what the shades are called. But if you know what that's from, comment down below. I feel like, yeah. If you know where that's from, comment down below. I'll definitely send you a shirt. Like, I'll send you a shirt. Like, that's a random giveaway. If you know what that line is from and what those shade names are from, comment down below and I'll send you a shirt. That's it. Like, I feel like you deserve it. And... We here, if you know where that's from, because that shit funny as hell. Um, but moving on, for my inner corner, <laughs> I'm going to try this Aquarama. This blue is pretty. I just hope it's as pigmented. So right in the inner corner, I just want a little pop. It doesn't even look blue like that, but... I was knocking off the excess, but I want it to be pigmented, so I'm just going to stamp it. I already laid down some banana powder to catch the fallout, so I'm not really... I'm not scared, so let's do this. I'm kind of just like blending it and stamping it. And I only want like half of it. Look at that mess. Make it a mess. But this is a pretty blue. Like I like it. Like you can, I can still see it. It's pretty pigmented. And I'm, I'm here for it. That is. Ooh, I like that. So I'm actually just gonna go ahead right into that Tamaza Fiato. That's that navy blue here. 
and I'm just gonna use that to just wing out the rest of the look so that it meets with the outer corner. Like so. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I like that. So that's pretty much it for the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead, finish up the face, come back and show y'all the final look. And I'm definitely gonna go into that Studio 54 highlight by Nomad Cosmetics because it looked so beautiful when I unboxed it. So y'all gonna see, <laughs> be right back. Alright guys, this is the final look. I actually really love how it came out. I don't really use greens a lot, and by a lot I mean ever. Um, so well, I really enjoyed doing this look. I really, really like that palette, that Nomad Cosmetic palette. It's really popping. I can't wait to use some of their other products. I did go ahead for my highlight. I did use this Studio 54 highlight. This is in Disco Nights. Um, if you haven't seen it on my unboxing, I'm just going to show it to you because it's so pretty. And it does come with a mirror, but like, this is what it looks like. But it's a really soft highlight. It's not too blinding. It is more glittery. Um, so if you do have texture, that's something to be aware of. I have textured skin, but I don't care. Y'all going to read this braille and y'all going to get over it. Um, but a lot of people don't like to emphasize the texture. Me, it is what it is. But this highlight is so pretty. And I have another one and they're just bomb bomb on the lips i did use my nyx suede matte lip liner in aria and then i actually topped it with this trifle cosmetics lip syrup it's so I, I love it it's a lip stain but it's kind of a gloss i don't know this is in rose fudge and this is such a pretty shade like i really love it i did actually top it with my iconic blending lip plumping gloss and nearly new because i feel like i just wanted it to be a little bit brighter for this look and I love how the combo came out like it's popping my brow bone highlight I actually did go ahead and just add some of that Stila glitter there because I wanted to and as you can see I do have a color contact this is in the shade pony gray by fresh eye.us so go ahead check them out I'll definitely leave a link to their website down below and their Instagram this is something else that I got in PR like I got mad good I got a lot of good stuff okay in PR and I actually really like almost all of it so this was a good look like if i had any base products again it would be a full face of products i got in pr and it's it's lit lashes you guys know i'm not gonna say it pretty mink beauty this is in style dime piece one of my favorites when i do a really bold look and it is winged i definitely love to put these lashes on so it doesn't take anything away from the look because they're pretty long and you know how lashes go but these look so pretty i really i really enjoyed this look if you guys like this look and how it came out Please make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. It definitely helps me out a lot. It helps push my channel out there. Also, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think of these products. Tell me if you want another look using this, these shadows. Just, just tell me how y'all feel. Talk to me. I, can't, I respond to every comment. Y'all keep acting like strangers. Stop doing that. Stop. And if you haven't already, <laughs> make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Once you subscribe, hit that notification bell. Join the Clockwork Crew so you'll be notified every single time I upload, which is every single Monday, like Clockwork. Also, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I have lots of great looks there, some of which I do not have a tutorial for on this channel. So if that's something that you like, make sure you go ahead and comment down below. Comment on Instagram or hit me in the DMs. Like, it's cool. I'll respond to y'all. Just don't be weird. That's all I'm asking please <laughs> oh you can comment anything else that you'd like to see on this channel i am going to start doing some reviews of some products like i'm definitely going to do that kush eyelash primer by milk makeup soon because i have to see if it works like i need to know and the audience is watching they need to know <laughs> but that's it guys for today i really hope you enjoyed this look i definitely did and i can't wait to see you guys in the next one thanks so much for watching guys until next time